Hi everyone, welcome back to Raw Synergy TV. Last week I discussed my raw food struggles related to the foods that I was really craving in the very beginning and how I was able to overcome that. And I got a lot of great responses to that video. People really enjoyed hearing about my experience related to that subject. And I wanted to go into more detail about the rest of my raw food struggles because I feel like a lot of people can really benefit from hearing about what other people struggled with. So in the very beginning, I was eating more of the gourmet raw diet and that became really heavy on my digestion. It was really hard to digest and I also did not know about the importance of eating enough carbohydrates and getting enough calories. And so in the very beginning, eating more of the gourmet fat raw, I was really out of it for a while. Like I was always just kind of like sitting, staring at a wall, kind of like, duh just not really didn't have that energy and motivation that everyone was talking about and I just really felt kind of out of it and I just I felt like my head was kind of like full and clouded and it was just not it just didn't feel right so when I was doing research online that's when I found out about the low fat raw vegan diet, the 80-10-10 diet, and eating mostly fruit and really carving up and making sure that you get enough calories. And so when I started eating enough calories and cutting back on the fat, that's when things really changed for me. So that was really an important step in my success with this diet also lost a lot of weight in the very beginning. I have always averaged around 100 pounds and I'm 5'3 and I got down to about 88 pounds. Well, I got really, really skinny and everyone was telling me, oh my gosh, you're so skinny. So that was really hard in the very beginning. So once I found 801010 and I started eating enough, my weight started balancing out. I started looking better, looking more healthy. So that was great to find this diet and start really seeing improvements as soon as I started making those positive changes. Another thing that I really struggled with in the beginning was hair loss. I actually lost about half of the hair that I came into this diet with and that was very scary for me. And for a long time I've had two different people who have worked on my hair. I've always had one person for color and one person for cut and each time I would go to both of those people they were like wow your hair is so thin what's happening what's going on and I could feel it like just when I would wrap my hands around my hair I could feel how much more thin it was and that made me so nervous and I was not happy about that but it I'm pretty sure it was all detox because now my hair is growing in really thick and healthy again, but I've heard from so many people that your hair does tend to shed itself when you're going through a detox. It tends to let go and the hair follicles kind of renew themselves and your hair then does grow back afterward and it comes back healthy and thick and I feel like that's what's happening with my hair now. Like it's much thicker and it just feels so much more healthy and I'm really thankful for that. So I have heard a lot of people who have the same issue and they get really scared. So as long as you're eating enough food uh, for your body weight and size, you're getting plenty of calories, if the, the quality of the food that you're getting, if you're getting quality fruit and vegetables, you should be getting the right amount of nutrients for your body and, and also I feel like because I had so many digestive issues I came into this diet with 
a lifetime of digestive trouble. That also played a huge role in how my food was being metabolized and getting absorbed. Like I don't feel like my food was really getting absorbed properly in the very beginning. And as I started eating more of the right foods, my digestive system really started healing and I feel like I started absorbing nutrients better. And everything obviously just starts working better when you're getting the right nutrients. So I feel like that plays a big role as well. And I feel like that played a big role with my hair and my skin and just my overall health. Like I still feel like my digestive system is healing and I feel like it's a process and it's so much better now than it ever was before and I just feel like that as I continue with this diet I feel like it's just going to continue to get better and better. Another frustrating struggle was having acne in the very beginning. As my body was healing and purging and pushing stuff out, that is really frustrating. So for all of you who are on this diet and you're experiencing acne, I can totally relate. And as I shared in my raw food skin transformation video, I had acne from food sensitivities as well as detoxification and poor lifestyle habits from from before so all of that was really a struggle because I really wanted my skin to heal and to be clear and it took a good year or more for my skin to really clear up and see big improvements I think one of the biggest struggles for me overall has been my food sensitivities because it's limited the amount of foods that I have the ability to eat and that just is really frustrating and because there's so many amazing fruits and vegetables that are available and there's so many amazing recipes to make and I've had to modify everything and really keep it so limited. And for the most part, eating mono meals of fruit has been great, but there have been so many times when I would just love to have uh orange juice or make like a tomato soup of some kind and that would just give me so much more variety and I just feel like the diet would be so much easier for me if I could just eat any any kind of fruit or any kind of vegetable so that's probably been the biggest struggle for me but it's been great so far I've, I've been able to make it work and as my food sensitivities heal I'm really excited about adding in more variety so we'll see what happens with that. I think getting parasites also was really really threw a, a wrench in the mix of my healing and also just in my being able to enjoy this lifestyle for a good part of the beginning of my journey because my digestive system was in a state of chaos because I got so bloated and uncomfortable from the parasites, all my symptoms from the parasites really just created havoc in my body and in my life. So that was another thing that just really threw me for a loop there for a while. So thankfully the parasite zappers worked to just get rid of them and keep them away. So I'm really thankful for that. That's been a huge saving grace. I think for the most part everybody has either family or friends that get really concerned and voice concerns about the diet in the very beginning and even some people still have issues with the family members even long after they've been on the diet for a really long time. For me I think I just I had certain family members that were really concerned when they first found out about it because it's so foreign to them and I totally understand because before I found out about this diet if somebody had told me about it and that they were eating that way I would probably be really concerned too 
But once I explained the benefits that I was already receiving from just being on the diet a short time, and of course as time went by and I received more and more benefits, there's nothing that anybody could say about the diet after that. But I did have, there were certain family members in the beginning who were telling other family members, she shouldn't be eating that way, this is just wrong and dangerous, and people get really scared, and I appreciate that they are concerned, but also I think so many people are really threatened by this way of eating, for whatever reason, it just really puts their own diet in a different perspective, and it forces people to look at what they're eating and for a lot of people they just cannot see themselves eating this way and I respect that I totally understand and I wouldn't want to change anybody's way of eating if they don't want to change and I totally understand that there are people who do not want to change and that's totally their prerogative and so it's just finding a balance between people like, you know, if they don't want to acknowledge that your diet is really working for you and that it's healthy, then for me it's like we have to agree to disagree. You eat your way and I'll eat mine and we'll just, you know, move on with our lives in that regard. But I think for the most part, being confident in how I eat has played the biggest role in alleviating people's fears when they find out about the way that I eat. It's just, if you come at it from a place of confidence, it just gives other people confidence. And if you come at it from a place of, wow, I really don't know what I'm doing, I'm really scared, I'm not sure, then of course people are going to just take that opportunity to pounce and, and try to change what you're doing. So I found that to be true. When the times if I was unsure, people really were like, well you should just, you should have some chicken. You should at least eat an egg. You gotta have your protein. <laughs> so people get really concerned. So I totally appreciate that and I totally understand where they're coming from. And so it was a really interesting part of the journey to to watch people's fears and see them being uncomfortable and see them being challenged with what they're eating and uh, just feeling really threatened. It's very, very interesting. And I think getting used to eating differently in the very beginning, that was, that was, that's an adjustment. Getting used to eating differently from everyone else, bringing your own food to a gathering or bringing your own food to a restaurant or ordering so differently from people when you do go to a restaurant and order something, it is an adjustment and it was definitely an adjustment for me. I feel like for me, however, I enjoy being different. I think being like everyone else is so boring. And I love being different. I love eating different from everyone. Although it would be great if more people ate this way because it would make so many changes in the world and on the planet. Life would be so different. People would just be more calm. People would be healthier. So, you know, I invite everybody to eat this way if they want to, but at the same time, I love being different. I love that I'm not like anybody else that I know. And, I mean, I do know other people who eat like this, but, you know, we are all different. And being different is okay. And that was one thing that was a great thing for me to learn. And get over really quick about being so different and eating differently. So if you embrace it, it can be amazing. So I highly recommend embracing it and enjoying being different. If you are different, love it. Love being you and love being different because being different is cool.
I think there were only a couple of times where I ran out of ripe fruit and that was a lesson that I learned really fast. Like, it's so important to have fruit ripening in the wings off to the side somewhere so that you always have enough ripe fresh fruit to eat at any given time. You, you will never go hungry, you will never not have food and feel like your only options are cooked food or something that you obviously would rather not eat. And so that was something that I learned really quickly. Having plenty of ripe fruit on hand, so important. And being prepared on the road when you go somewhere, taking food with you. It only takes a couple of times of being on the road and not having anything good to eat, not having ripe fruit or raw food available. You really learn quickly that it's so important to take raw snacks, raw lunches, raw dinners with you on the road or when you're leaving you're going to be gone for a day or even a few hours. It's so important to have something on hand to eat, to snack on, whatever, so that you're never tempted to go through the drive through and get something that really just doesn't belong in your body. As an interesting side note, one thing that I have experienced, I've experienced this a lot more kind of in the beginning of my journey, maybe in the first year and a half. It still happens every once in a blue moon, but I would get this sensation that would come over me, a memory of a specific meal, a, a cooked meal from either from my childhood or either from years ago and it would be like a Mexican dinner that I had, like this, all the specific flavors of eating that food would come over me, I would smell it, I would have the memory of eating that food and it would come and go so fast but it's it was like when it happens it's like crazy because you I'm just fully remembering this meal as it tasted every flavor every scent every part of it it's so interesting it's like something that's been buried in my cells and then gets released somehow in that instant and I have that flash and then it's gone almost as quickly as it arrives so that's something that's very interesting like I said it doesn't happen as often now but every once in a while it does and it's really trippy and I think for some I don't know if that ever happens to you but for some people I would imagine it would maybe make them feel like, oh, I'm having a craving for this or something, but I definitely don't feel like it's a craving. I just feel like it's either, it's, it feels like a release, some sort of release, and it's just fascinating to me. So it would be interesting to hear if any of you also have ever had that, because I don't think I've, I don't think I've ever talked to anybody who's had that before, but I'm not sure. So feel free to comment below. Anyway, that's all I can really think of in terms of my raw food struggles at the moment. I think one other thing that I can remember is from time to time I would still have a digestive issue with something. And that would be really frustrating because my digestion started working so well that there were times when all of a sudden it would really slow down or something would happen where I, I would just be having like a pain or discomfort or things were just not working right and it would scare me and I'd be like, oh no, what's going on? But I just feel like my body was working through something at that time and it's so important when those things happen not to stress out, not to freak out, not to feel like, oh my gosh, things are going backward or things aren't working and just to remain calm and stick with it and 
know that your body is so intelligent. Your body knows what it's doing as long as you're doing the right things. I think one of the things that I did when I would experience like those little digestive speed bumps, so to say, I would eat lots of juicy fruits. Like I would just go for a day of eating like melons, peaches, mangoes, anything that was like really high, high water rich and kind of stay away from like anything dense like bananas and dates. And if I did eat a lot of bananas and dates, it was so important for me to drink a lot of water and still is. Like if I load up on bananas or dates, I really do try to drink a lot more water because they're not as water rich as the other fruits. And I feel like I definitely need more water to digest those foods. So that is another thing that I do remember. But other than that, I can't remember any other struggles. I think that's all of them. And hopefully this will help some of you to realize that you're not alone in your struggles and that things do work out if you stick with it. And it's definitely paid off for me. It's still the greatest diet and lifestyle I've ever incorporated into my life. And it just continues to get better and better for me. I really, really love it. And I know a lot of you love it too. And that's why you're here. So thank you for watching and for supporting this channel. Thank you for your comments. And, and also, thank you for your video ideas. It's so great to hear about what you guys want to see on this channel. It helps me so much. So thank you for that too. And that's it for this edition of Ross Energy TV. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.